I'm Brad, Jack of All Adventures, Master of None, and this video is going to be on my Zero motorcycle and charging it, my experience charging it with this EcoFlow battery. Um, the details are in the, in the video, but basically this is like a gas can and it's got a gallon and a quarter in it and my main tank has seven and a quarter gallons. And I'm going to try to dump the gas from this battery into the main tank. And, um, yeah, watch the video. It's got all the details of what happens. And then if it bores you, just jump to the end. You can get the conclusion at the end. So let me know what you think. Um, these bikes, these bikes are fun. I love electric. The big problem with them is they just don't have the range. So take a look. Hey, this is Brad, Jack of All Adventures, Master of None, here with a real world, her real world experience of what I'm dealing with with my Zero motorcycle. Um, I didn't charge it, unfortunately, and um, was didn't plan for this ride, and I really wanted to go for a ride. So what I did very last minute is I I threw on my Echo Flow battery here, which I think is powered at to 100%. It's a, yep, it's setting at 100%. I'm going to try to charge the bike with this battery. It was at 33% when I left, and it's I threw it on the regular 110 outlet for I don't know only 15 20 minutes and uh, got it up to 38 percent so I left with 38 percent and um, now I'm gonna plug it into the echo flow and see if I can't charge it I was able to charge it with with um With my, I was able to charge my 2011 Ford electric Ford Transit with the Echo Flow battery. I did another video on that. But as you can see, we're at 26% and it is charging. And I guess according to this time, we'll just use it as a reference. It's 2143. So 43 minutes. Let's see what it does in a half an hour. Actually, let's come back and look at this real quick. And then I actually have something I have to do in a half an hour, which is why. It says it'll take two out. It can run at this amperage at two hours. A charger's only sucking 633 watts to, to charge the bike. We're only charging at 633 watts. All right, we'll come, we'll come back in a half an hour and see what's what it's doing. But this is a definitely a quick makeshift extra range battery. All right, we're back almost an hour later. Uh, six minutes short of an hour later at half an hour thing and another Distraction took a while, but let's see what we got for charge. We are up to 42% um, So we've added quite a bit actually I wish I remembered I'll have to look at the numbers actually and on This we've used half of this battery, so we're down to 52% all right, we're back and we're at almost an hour later and we have 43%. We left with 26, so we've added 17%. Um, to, it's a 7.2 kilowatt hour um, battery. There's two 3.6 kilowatt hour batteries on the, on the bike. This Echo Flow battery holds one and a quarter kilowatt hour, so in theory, using round numbers, this thing should only be able to put one sit. There's six times as much battery here as there is in my temporary battery box. So, and let's see how much we've used out of this battery to get that 17%. And I'm on dropping everything. I don't know. If I noticed I played back our other video and you can't see these numbers. But... We still have 43% left in this battery. I'm um, actually going to have to take a minute and run some math numbers because the, the basic numbers aren't adding up very well in my head. Um, we're still charging at like 642 watts, which isn't a big draw. That charger, the charger on this bike is not... I would have thought it would dr draw on a few more amps than that. It's like half of what a microwave uses. I don't have any pencil and paper with me. 
Um, so I'm going to do these numbers in my head and bear with me for a minute. This is this is my way of doing math in my head. This holds one and a quarter kilowatt hour. This holds 3.6 kilowatt hours. So if I had three of these, I would have three times one and a quarter, which is three and three quarters, which is just a little more than 3.6. So three of these are just a little bit bigger than one of these. Um, and actually I got two of these. So I got about one sixth the storage capacity and uh, kilowatt hours as I do in these two batteries. And another way to think of it that might be easier to rationalize in your head are gallons of gas. This holds one and a quarter gallon of gas. This holds seven, seven and a quarter gallons of gas. So this tank here is a lot bigger than this tank up here. Um, so it's like having a little extra gas can on your, on your vehicle. And so as I'm trying to do the math, it doesn't seem right to me. We've put half of the gas, if you follow me, in this tank. So this is only half, a little less than half full. So, and we put, put it into this tank down here. And I don't see how that should give me 17% more, more juice. The math just doesn't add up. Um, even if I put the whole thing in, what is, what is one sixth in percentage? Um, now I'm doing math in my head, probably making this video long and boring for you. Just skip to the end and um, one sixth, one fifth would be 20%. So a, a sixth would be less than that. So let, yeah, like if I put that whole thing in, I should only raise my meter like 17. 17% so I don't understand why these numbers just aren't really adding up but you can see here we've ran it for another five minutes we've really not put much energy back in the battery so those numbers just aren't consistent numbers to work with um, so that that's actually a little bit troubling so I think one one reason why I'm gonna speculate that might be is the energy in the batteries isn't it's not a direct curve and you know the the gauge is reporting a lower percentage or like you're using more at, at the bottom and the the gas gauge drops quicker at the bottom of the tank that's that's my theory so the gas gauge has gone way up even though you really haven't put much more gas in it that's if you can tie the two ideas together anyways um hopefully that helps you understand a little bit what's going on and Actually, I'm going to do a little bit more on this video before I'm completely done, so stay tuned. I'm going to see if I can't leave it plugged in and continue to charge while I'm riding it. Once I get this all strapped back down. That's one thing I noticed from the first part of my video when I rewatched is the, the hook came undone. That's why you shouldn't do anything real quick in the last minute if you want to run out and get something done. All right, here we go. It's at least... 10 minutes later we still we've only put one more percent in um, and I got the key on and it's charging so let's see what happens here I got this all re tied down hopefully it don't come undone this time it took a little bit more time than I did last time maybe not enough all right well I think I've answered the question it's a lot easier to answer it in a negative <laughs> Giving it some gas here. There's no keys on. See this little light right here? Tells me the kill switch or something is on. Yep, still not going. Um, like if the kickstand's down, that light comes on. The kickstand up, keys on. And we're not going anywhere. So my guess is it will not move while it's, while it's charging. Let's see. What if we just simply unplug it? Now, now let's see if we'll move. Yep. Good thing I don't, good thing it didn't take off on me before when I was on. I'm gonna scoot over here into the shade anyway. Good thing it didn't take off on me before when I was just pumping the gas, pumping the electric. Not the, because it, it would have shot off. But yeah, it won't work when it's charging. Why do I just turn signal on? Turn signal don't want to turn off. 
That's, uh, anyway, let's just plug this back in. Guess we'll plug this back in. And I want to go see what we got going on here. Still running at, oh, it says it's, that's minutes, 23 minutes. And until it's empty. And over here we got it charging at 640 watts. I can't see what the percentage is. We're down to 23% left in the battery. So it is charging at the same rate it's always been charging at. We're still at 44%. It hasn't gone up hardly at all as far as percentage, which just tells me that these are given inaccurate readings on how much charge is actually in the battery. All right, well, I think I've beat a dead horse in this video. Um, you can't charge while you're moving. That's what I found out. So if you want to use your dump the gas out of this into into your main tank, you can only do it when you're stopped. And all right, in conclusion, we have the EcoFlow battery that has one and a quarter gallons of gas or kilowatt hours, whichever way you want to look at it. Or it's easier for you to think about that as a, an extra gas tank, but it's got one and a quarter kilowatt hours, and we got the two two batteries on on the bike that have um, three and a half gallons each in them or 3.6 kilowatt hours um, so this one this one battery the one tank on the back is like a sixth of whatever we have here in the main tank and we figured out that uh, the actual energy gauges don't correspond because this the most this battery could raise with uh, round numbers doing math in your head is like 17% and it's already done that and there's still still energy in this battery so it feels like those numbers aren't right then I also tried to ride the bike with it plugged in and so I kind of got the cord wrapped up and going back to there and it will not it will not go while it's charging so if you want to try to do this setup you can do it from the parking lot or whatever and it, it'll take take a couple hours to put that one and a quarter kilowatt hour into into the big tank so that's actually pretty slow too so it's kind of not really worth it unless you're desperate and you just need that extra kilowatt hour to get to where you're going and you gotta wait you got a while to stop if not you just need to find find somewhere where you can plug it into 110 outlet um, that is one big big problem for this bike for a lot of people would be the range definitely doesn't have much range um, but for me it, it works perfect because I usually don't want to ride very long anyways it just gets me back and forth into town easily huh. I missed the trike that just went down the road all right I'm Brad I'm up for now hopefully this video helped explain a few things for you and if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more information I'm out for now Here's a little bit of an encore video. If you want to see what happens when I plug my phone in. Yeah, we got a little duck joining us too. And the phone quit charging. This is the bad cord. You can tell if the phone's actually charging because the number goes down. Back up. Alright. We're really, we're out for now.